Microwave ovens have ruined your life and you don't even realize it. I'm Ed Herman and I'm a lawyer with the law firm of Brown and Crouppen. And today I'm going to make the case against microwave ovens. Exhibit A, bacon. You cannot make good bacon in a microwave. You know what you get? Rubber. Bacon should not do this. This is not Stretch Armstrong. So you ever go to a sandwich place and you ask for a sandwich with bacon? And they, they put something that's like this on here and we just we just take it. Well, not anymore. Do you want to remember the good old days when bacon was crisp and delicious? This is the bacon your mom used to make in a frying pan or in the oven. Members of the jury, you're seeing what I'm seeing. You don't have to live like this anymore. This is out there for you. It should snap like a cookie. There was a crunch. I heard a crunch when I snapped it. That bacon. You put this on your sandwich, and your sandwich is gonna sing. Folks, I could end my case right there against microwaves, but I won't because I've got exhibit B, popcorn. Microwave popcorn, it's the most risky thing that you can possibly make in a microwave, and yet people are doing it every day. We take the bag in, even the instructions are vague. They're not even exactly sure how to make their product because they don't know the power of your microwave. So they tell you right on the thing, watch and listen. So now I have to stand here next to a microwave oven until the popping slows down, so vague. But folks, we all know what's gonna happen. If I pull that bag out 30 seconds too early, half of that bag is not gonna be popped, it's just gonna be kernels. But God forbid, I pull that bag out 30 seconds too late, that's gonna stink to high heaven. And that's a smell that stretches down hallways. It goes underneath doors. It gets to every nostril and everybody knows what it is and they all say the same thing. Who burnt the popcorn? What are you supposed to do? Go out and get yourself an air popper. It makes the popcorn just as fast. It never misses a kernel. It's delicious every time. Lord knows what kind of microwaves are, are, are infecting my body. Oh, hey, no, hey, dang it, right <coughs> Not good, not good. And that's me making it as perfectly as possible. Exhibit C, baked potatoes. Everybody about mm, 20 years ago, oh, you can make a baked potato in the microwave in eight minutes, and isn't that something? It's not something. This is a company that puts this out specifically to be done in a microwave. At best, you have a steamed potato. This, that's disgusting. Starchy, dry. Where's the heat? Where's the steam? I, I, I don't even want to put all my fixings on this one. I'm going to take you back 20 years like a time machine, and I'm going to show you what a baked potato is supposed to look like. Thank God I've got an oven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, talking. Okay, see, this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to do the, 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 the tinfoil dance. Oh, yeah. Oh. You see that? Yeah, that's steam. Watch what happens. It just absorbs into there like it's come home. When you make a baked potato, you're supposed to get it ready. You're supposed to poke little holes in it, wrap it in foil, cook it for like an hour, hour and a half, until that heat builds up and the outside just gets a little bit crispy. You're never gonna get anything crispy in a microwave. Huh? That is a baked potato. This is a hot potato. And if you ever played the game hot potato, the object is to give this to the next guy. Exhibit D leftovers. So what do you do? You put it in the microwave now. We all do the same thing. We're like, let me do two minutes and let's see where we stand. Folks, we know where we're going to stand. If I take a bite of one item, it's going to be ice cold. And if I move two inches to the right and I take another bite, it's going to be like lava because a microwave does not heat evenly. So let's see what happens. Oh my God. What am I supposed to do now? You put it in the oven, it cooks it all evenly, like this, like this. Members of the internet, we now move to exhibit E, or what I call the microwave nevers. You never, ever want to try to reheat pizza or french fries in a microwave. How many times does that food have to be fast? You got it fast the first time when you got it from McDonald's. Don't you think you have a couple of minutes to slow it down and do it right? 
As a side note, there's really no great way to reheat french fries, especially McDonald's french fries. It's just scientifically impossible. In the meantime, let's take a look at our pizza. A pizza should never fall limp. We want a, a pizza that stands proud. Oh, look at that. Is this the world you want to live in? That's a french fry to you? You can't put anything in here that you expect to maintain a crunch. This is where crunch goes to die. Now we move to exhibit F. This is perhaps the most compelling argument against microwaves. These products have one thing in common. They were manufactured specifically to be used in the microwave. And what was that all too familiar sound? Good Lord. It's a crime scene in there. Where's Dexter when you need him? So glad that I saved six minutes cooking this so I can now spend 20 minutes cleaning out the microwave. Makes no sense. Now listen, when I was in college, I was just like you. I was stuck to use the microwave. Put it in the oven. You're a grown up now. Members of the internet, I think I've proven beyond a reasonable doubt that the microwave has sucked the life out of your life. Use your oven and live your best life. If I've convinced you to give up using the microwave, let me know in the comments. And if you're still unmoved, let me know that as well. And if you haven't been watching my other videos in the Ed Versus series, check them out because I have opinions on a lot of things.